on this, the first 80 degree day in Olympia this year, I'm going to enjoy a dark beer. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking Everybody's Old Soul Porter. Why? Why drink a dark beer on a warm day? Um, because not all dark beers are made the same. Because uh, I need to finish it up. Because um, lots of good reasons. It's a good beer. Not the least of which. Um, I suppose it's been a long time since I was young enough to talk about being an old soul. But I suppose the, uh, the brand being everybody's kind of offsets the old soul part. Uh, though their, their kind of can design is definitely focused on uh, retro chic kind of stuff. This is uh, an ale brewed with Bravo, Cascade, and Chinook. Maybe hops, Cascade hops, Bravo, I suppose Bravo hops. Um, and it's noted for having layers of toffee and caramel topped with dark roast and a subtle spice. It's a 5.8 alcohol by volume, and 32 IBUs, which should be relatively low. I don't have specific memories about what I recall this beer being, previous cans of which I've drunk. Um, I picked this up at, I believe it was Spuds, which is a local market down in Tumwater. And um, yeah, I'm going to stop saying um, I'm going to stick my nose in this glass, and I'm going to see what it is that I enjoy about this. Yep, dark, roasty, caramel, toffee. Um, I suppose you might find some coffee in there. Like the, the roastiness is more coffee than campfire. Um, doesn't Definitely doesn't smell of chocolate. It's definitely to the, the coffee side of the roasty bits. Maybe almost a graham cracker? So porters are, I've talked about them in the past. Uh, actually quite recently. They are they are a dark beer, but you might even call them a moderately dark beer. Their um, stronger cousins would be the stout porter, the stouts as we hear, know them today. But even that line's kind of blurred. Um, a porter can be dark brown all the way to inky black. It can be thin and watery all the way to used motor oil. Uh, there's just a, a really wide gamut of what can and cannot be a porter, but in my experience, generally speaking, a porter is going to be less intense, uh, possibly drier than a stout. A stout, generally with its higher, uh, stronger uh, malt bill and higher alcohol by volume, is going to have a more sweet and thick uh, consistency and character. Whereas a porter is going to be typically, these are all general generalizations and typicals, not hard set rules, a porter is typically going to be drier. And that dryness can translate to being lighter, though it isn't necessarily actually lighter in any real sense of the word. But as far as perception goes, a lack of sweetness can result in a lighter tasting beer. And so, all that to say, don't necessarily discount the ability of a porter to be the right beer for a warm day. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, let's see if this is the right beer for this warm day. So we got those roasty notes on the nose and uh, maybe a kind of a graham cracker, which kind of speaks to a bit of sweetness. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's uh, see how it tastes. Two, two pretty distinct different layers happening at the same time. There's this kind of roasty, almost raisin um, like foundation. And then over the top of it, think of a frosting on maybe a denser cake. So you have this kind of creamy, light, sweet frosting, but then this maybe dense and um, 
dense cake, not dry, just dense. So there's a distinct difference, right? Uh, but they're working together. They're happening at the same time. You cut your fork down through it and you stick the whole thing in your mouth and your the roof of your mouth goes through the frosting and uh, you, you get the picture, right? It's conjuring all the right stuff in your brains. So you have this kind of foundation, this this dense cake of the roasty um, and there's a, there's a hint of sweetness to it, just kind of holding things together and that almost a raisin-like character. And then over the top of it, it's not... It's not juicy, but it seems like there's a lot of stuff there. Um, a little more nebulous in flavor. I'm, I'm not able to pin down exactly what it tastes like. But it does feel like it's sitting on top of this kind of foundation of, of roastiness. Um, and that's not unpleasant. Hmm. It's quite interesting. It's quite good. I like that. Uh, to the nose, the caramel was more distinct. Tasting it, it's more like um, if they made a caramel with espresso. Like a real strong dry coffee, uh, slightly sweet, and then this, you know, sweet, salty caramel. Uh, but, but the coffee is the more dominant part of the partnership, definitely. That's really pleasant. I like that. The, su the thin sweetness uh, works very nicely to keep this overall a lighter tasting beer. I like that. And I think that's why this works well for warm days. Um, that nice dry coffee, uh, super dark, you know, uh, subtle hints of super dark stone fruit kind of stuff or uh, dried fruit kind of stuff on the foundation. And then this really nice like... Um, Thin, sweet like uh, dark caramel, coffee like um, topper. And they coexist and they work very nicely. And all together, it's good stuff. Very good stuff. I like it. This has been me drinking everybody's Old Soul Porter and enjoying it. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Mm -hmm.